All right, now that everybody's making fun of our <laughs> what do you mean? That was great. frisbee skills. That was good, you guys. Yeah, very yeah our moms are good. so proud of us they right are. now. They are. They are. They're so yeah. proud of our athletic ability. Sports, sports ball. Sports <laughs> games. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Theater kids. <laughs> <laughs> Math nerd. <laughs> you can be both. Yeah, no, exactly. It's the last day with our I math know. nerd. Dad, we're not talking about it, remember? Oh, That's gosh. the rule. I know, I, I know, like, but still. Yeah, yeah. But the weather's gonna be beautiful. Hey, there it is. Yeah. Great weekend. <laughs> it's gonna be great, guys. Well, Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna warm up uh, mid 80s or so for both days this weekend. Plenty of sun tomorrow, too. Nice shot right now from Standish, St. Joe's. It's gorgeous out there, mostly blue skies around, a couple clouds, but it's lovely. Dover Foxcroft finally clearing out. Those clouds are really hanging on today, but you can see some blue sky now, 76 there as well, and temperatures there will warm up too this weekend. Again, clouds moving out. We'll see mostly clear skies as we go through the overnight hours tonight. By tomorrow morning, going to not be too bad. If you're out and about tonight, 9 p.m., temperatures low to mid 70s still. Should be a lovely night to be uh, outside. For tomorrow morning, we'll start with temperatures in the upper 60s, lower 70s or so. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Couple high thin clouds can't be ruled out, but overall it's going to be quite nice by about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning too. You see those temps warm up into the low 80s and then eventually we're talking about mid to upper 80s for tomorrow. About 10 degrees above normal in many spots for tomorrow afternoon. Even tomorrow evening doesn't look too bad. Maybe a couple more clouds moving in, but overall, I mean, it's going to be gorgeous tomorrow. 10 out of 10. Uh, another beach weekend potentially before uh, we go back to school or get into almost September. I guess that's a couple more weekends, but anyways, for Sunday morning, we'll start with temps in the upper 60s. We will see more clouds around for the day on Sunday for sure. Things should stay dry for most of the day, but by the time we get into Sunday afternoon and evening, this is around three o'clock, we'll see the potential for a few showers, maybe even a pop up thunderstorm in the mountains and higher elevations. But most of us will stay dry and it looks nice for the day on Sunday too. By Monday, we'll really see clouds increase. Temperatures will be cooler for Monday too. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we get some of our rain back. It looks showery, not heavy downpours or anything like that. But but hey, at least we'll get a little bit of rain as we go through the middle of next week before things warm up again by the end of next week. Look at this Saturday, Sunday, mid to upper 80s, cooler Monday with those clouds and then temps kind of make a return to normal by the middle of the week and into the end of next week. It looks like a warming trend is potentially there. Seas around two feet for tomorrow. Winds from the west at around five knots uh, becoming southerly once we get into tomorrow afternoon. So, I mean, overall, the weekend is just quite nice temperatures on the warm side, especially away from the coast will make it into those mid to upper 80s. Monday's a little bit cooler, maybe a sprinkle or two, but that's really it. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll get our chance of showers back. And then you'll notice Thursday, Friday, mid to upper 80s again. What? Could it wow. set us up for another nice weekend? I don't know. Another we'll beach weekend. Out. Why not? I know. Yeah. It's so nice though. Okay. Pumps. Summer's not over yet. Yeah. No. Ending strong. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Thanks. Jess.